Saif Ali Khan. Saif Ali Khan. Welcome back to our YouTube interaction with Tom Corbin. I'm Rick. And Nico Instagram, and Twitter, Twitter. Oh, juicy content. And yes, yeah, we got some movie review action coming at you right now. The trilogy we have finally is finished complete. it in the absolutely most incorrect order you can finish it in. Pretty much. <laughs> Header one, which oh, is three. Over a yep. big bull two, which, which is one. one. And then Omkar three, which, which is, is two. two. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we got it done. <laughs> We do everything wrong. Um, but yes, the Omkar, the uh, second in the uh, Shakespeare trilogy, I suppose. Yep. Uh, and I, I hear rumors that he might be doing a fourth of... Uh, Midsummer, right? I think... Was it Midsummer? I can't remember which one it was, but that's exciting. Um, if you need white, white boys. <laughs> we'll be your dumb white boys. Great shirt. Yeah, I'll be your dumb white boy. Oh, no, that's not a good shirt. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, you know what a redneck's famous last words are, don't you? What? Hey, y'all, watch this. Omkar, a uh, politically minded, uh, minded in enforcers. Enforcers. Yep. Uh, misguide the trust in his lieutenants, lead him to suspect his wife of infidelity. Mm -hmm. And it is the adaptation of Shakespeare's Othello, which. I am probably the least familiar with in terms of, especially compared to Macbeth and uh, yeah, Hamlet. I think we said that at the outset that we, we admitted that going into this, um, Hamlet was nothing compares to my understanding of Hamlet. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Macbeth was next. Mm -hmm. And then Othello is actually of all of Shakespeare's works. Othello is the one, I mean, I know of it, but it was the one I was the least intimately aware of. Yeah. Like he could have quoted some lines from this that would be very well-known lines from Othello and I might have missed it. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Hamlet, I'm not going to miss a thing. No. So, yeah. Yeah, and it was, uh, it was obviously directed by Vishal Bardwash, written yep. by Vishal Bardwash, music by Vishal, Vishal Bardwash, Bardwash. Uh, the genius who... Scenery, Vishal Bardwash, no, you know we love, and starring A.J. Devon, Saif Ali Khan, Karina Kapoor, uh, Nasser and Shah. Shah, and and uh, um, come on now, um, her, uh, yeah, uh, Konkona, Sir Sharma. That was his sister, right? Yes. No, that was that no, was Saif Ali Khan's sister. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and the other actor from um, uh, from Gangs. From Gangs. Yes. Uh, that's it. Pankaj Trip. He had a thing. Obviously, he had a very small part in this. Right. Uh, a recognizable face, and I'm sure there are other people in it that we're missing. Forgive us. And we could talk about, obviously, a lot about this, um, but the uh, first thing I want to talk about is the greatest performance I've seen from Saeed Khan. Yeah. Uh, for me, even, even I loved him in, as Sartaj, but that even took me a little bit. Like, right when he came on screen, I was like, that doesn't look like Saeed Khan. Yeah. This I, is a completely different role, I think, completely out of his uh, wheelhouse, almost. Exactly. Uh, not out of it, because he did it, and he did very, but very well. From where he was in his career at that time, that we yeah. know about. And this was shortly after Dilch at the High. A yeah. couple years. A couple years after Dilch at the High. See, seeing it now in light of Sartage and some of the other things we've seen him do as he's expanded his, what we refer to as the thespianatic muscles, it's not a surprise. No. I think if we had seen this at the time everyone in India did and watched him, it would have been revelatory. Yeah. It, it would have been a, a common thing for critics in the United States to say about somebody who does a performance that blew their mind. They'll say something like Saif Ali Khan is a revelation. Kind where of, it's a completely different. Kind of like you know they were that. Big. I haven't seen the film yet, but what they're saying about Adam Sandler and uncut gems. Yes, that's what uh, I essentially would assume that's what. A it well known name. People said that when Robin did um, Good Morning Vietnam, mm. because Robin was Mork. Yeah, and when he did Good Morning Vietnam and got nominated, everybody was like. We had no idea. Well, people who knew Robin personally and were huge fans like me knew he was a Juilliard student. Mm -hmm. So he was first a thespian, mm -hmm. uh, and then he was a stand-up comic. But uh, I, yeah, I it think was a major he, revelation he for did So so well, I as thought, did Karina. Yes, my I, we, this is probably every single character in this of the people we knew outside of uh, the last person, uh, Pankaj Trip. That's a very small role, right? My favorite performance of AJ Devon, we've only ever seen one thing. Correct, like, I, so it's not I, really fair. I like this a lot more than I, uh, uh, even though I thought he did really well in Drishium. But mm -hmm. I think this is even, uh, was even better than that. Uh, Saif Ali Khan, obviously. Karina Kapoor, I thought his sister was one of the best well, characters. She was very good. Everybody well. was very good. And I think 
it's kind of what we say. He's similar to a um, um, Quentin in terms of he is good for actors. Yes. And bringing out the brings best out the best in actors. In actors. Correct. Uh, which is something that's not all directors have. Not at all. Uh, some are just do your work. I'm going to do my thing. Kind yep. of, like Ang Lee, he uh, he directed uh, a bunch of stuff, but Brokeback Mountain and a bunch of other stuff. But he is a very he doesn't say a lot when he's directing. Mm -hmm. He just kind of lets you do your thing, and he'll right. keep taking until he finds what he wants. Correct. Uh, and that's a, that's a style that you can go with and whatever. But I think he's like a very hands on helping somebody get to where they need to go. Yeah. It's all so, so realistic. Mm -hmm. um, this one, um, it took me a minute to get into the film, but I think that's because from the other two, like uh, Hamlet and Macbeth, you're kind of looking for um, characters, what they're doing, you're because you know, parallels. You, know what, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I didn't know very much outside of, there was some <sighs> racist stuff in the original, like, like it had a lot to do with racism. Uh, in the in Othello, in Othello, it's massive, uh, and so that's basically what it's I central what I knew, mm -hmm. um, and so I I was kind of just watching this film, mm -hmm. and it, so it took me a while to figure out like okay what's happening, what's going on, but then when when I I think it's when Saif Ali Khan decides that he what he's gonna do is when I started to really get into the film and um, uh, enjoy what was going on 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 the screen. But uh, I think what they did with that, the the because they didn't really have the the racism aspect. Correct. I think they put the cast aspect clearly in uh, as opposed to the the racism because it was like a half cast. There was a lot of talk of yeah half casts and and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it really was almost secondary, like the politicalness and the um, uh, the racism or whatever was kind of almost secondary to the story, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to what what Saif Ali Khan was kind of. Um, making like his web, basically his long game of yes. One well, also, I didn't realize Bahubali meant general. I didn't do that. <laughs> they kept saying Bahubali, and I'm like, oh, that's what that means. <laughs> it means general. You probably told us. Sorry, it's three. But I did, they kept saying Bahubali. I'm like, oh, I, I didn't realize it. We're in the new work today. Well, that's uh, that's cool. For those of you new to the channel, we we watched Bahubali like long ten months ago. ago. <laughs> long time ago. But yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> But I think it's an, another another thing that's so genius about his writing and able to adapt such an old screenplay, just like he did with Macbeth, just like he did with Hamlet, uh, and making it contemporary for one, but also in a completely different setting. Yeah, and he, uh, where did you place these? If you were to rank them as far as the ones you enjoyed, as far as one, two, and three, obviously Header's number one. So of the, the next two, it's it's tough um, because Cara, I think. Cool. Because the issue, the big issue I had with McBool was the quality, because it was so long ago, and so the video quality wasn't as good. Mm. Um, but I think I would actually still, I would put it probably header Macbeth, and then slightly under his Umkara, just slightly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, it's not. I I really enjoyed this film. It's just I think the familiarity I have with the other stories mm -hmm. is something that just resonates more with me. I think I like those stories better. Well, like, yeah, the this. familiarity you can't you can't deny that that is an impact yeah. in terms of it, when you know when you know what the director has taken and is applying it, you have the capacity to appreciate the gifting and the genius of the person because of what they're doing. Yeah. Um, I I felt you know I don't I have knowledge about the, enough knowledge about the, the salient points of the story to know that of the three, this would be the most where it's not even so much an adaptation as it is a, um, like it was inspired by a film. Yeah. I mean, it has some direct things. The, the, the ultimate ending does see certain characters die who are supposed to die. But uh, I would imagine, the I would imagine Shakespeare purists don't like this and people who don't know Shakespeare, especially Indians, really like it. Mm. I think if you have no exposure to Othello and Shakespeare as a, just a standalone film and you're Indian, I, I could see this being a film you really, really like. I personally, for me, it's definitively the weakest of the three. Mm -hmm. um, and even though the acting is really strong, particularly with Si'if Ali Khan and, and the most grounded performance by Karina, even more grounded for me than Uda Punjab. Also, Nasaruddin Shah wow. is always amazing. He's but always this is such good. a different role. Yeah. But I, I really enjoyed that. I did too. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was such a... Uh, right when I saw him, I'm like, oh, that's... I yeah, like it. <laughs> I, did, I did too. But I felt, I felt if you're to take 
the comparison of Shakespeare's Othello and mm -hmm. Omkara as far as the main points and what happens to you watching the story. Uh, the comparison would be Othello's this Cabernet and then Omkara took eight ounces of Cabernet and added eight ounces of water and mm. diluted the power that's in the tragedy. Mm. Because in the tragedy of Shakespeare's Othello, what you get at the end, or at least you should get from what he wrote, would be deep tragic loss where you would be so heartbroken that Othello is killing this woman he loves because Iago has so deceived him. And that he kills himself because he can't live. It should, you should be left with like a Romeo and Juliet kind of, how did these two people who should have been together get, get so confused and end up dying? And this one's even worse because Othello kills his wife, who's supposed to be this woman he, he absolutely adores. And he's somebody you should have a lot of empathy for because he's been maligned by reason of, in Othello's telling, he's African, he's black. And he is extremely prejudiced against, except by the woman that he loves. Mm -hmm. um, and the and I found that Saif Ali Khan's character, while definitively manipulative, was actually just more opportunist in that he saw circumstances arise and he went, I'm gonna flip that circumstance and I'll flip that. Whereas Iago is straight up creating circumstances mm -hmm. that are insidious. I felt like, and again, I guarantee Vishal Bardwaj did that on purpose and it's his prerogative to do that. And I, I tried to be more forgiving and say, because Hedder is just straight up. It takes everything that Shakespeare brought to it and contemporizes it. Mm -hmm. This, I felt like Vishal took aspects of it and then kind of flavored it into something palatable for the Indian contemporary mind. Gotcha. So as a Shakespeare purist adaptation, this is the least mm. favorite, but I find it to be as, uh, I, I could see some Indian audiences liking this more than Hedder. I think there, there are a lot, and, and I, I'm not a Shakespeare purist. I enjoy Shakespeare. You know a lot more about Shakespeare than I do. Uh, like I said, Umkar is probably the one I know least. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed the end, not knowing really, I knew, Shakespeare, I knew somebody was going to die. <laughs> Shakespeare tragedy. Some people going to die. And somebody's going to kill himself. Yeah, that's exactly. essentially what Shakespeare does in his tragedies. Right. Somebody's going to die and somebody's going to kill themselves. Right. Um, and so I knew that was coming. Uh, and so I did enjoy the end and how, and how it all came together. I, like, I'm, like, I wasn't really comparing it to something right. uh, original. So you were able to really see it yeah, more as a standalone. That's, that's really how, how I, I saw it and I, I enjoyed that. Like I said, I still would probably watch it just because I think I enjoy those stories a little more. Uh, yeah. And I, maybe just because I know them more, maybe. maybe I, also, it it's, I also enjoyed the other films just more. I mean, Hedder, forget it. That's not even in the same galaxy as most of the films we see. Yeah. Uh, but even, even in terms of the performances and the Shakespearean-ish, and again, I would come at it from a more purist standpoint. So I'm, I'm understandably biased. I think my least favorite thing in terms of the watering down of the power of the original Othello versus this was, I'll ask you, when we reached the climactic point in this mm -hmm. and uh, Amkara Omri, who is the Othello, when he kills her, mm -hmm. uh, did you feel badly for, did you have any empathy and compassion and was Othello somebody that you had a, a sense of rooting for? and liking and, and rooting for their love story. Yeah, or at times I did. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, th I think obviously you felt more bad for him when you, you knew it was coming that he was gonna find out that she didn't actually cheat on him. And so, yeah. so when, when they came to the door and he, he found out actually what happened, uh, then I, I, you, you felt worse for him. But I, you know, I don't think they were, I think they were going for more realistic Indian it, that's the point. Uh, yeah, and I, I can't. I can't for. blame Vishal for that. I think that's what he was going you know, for. Yeah. If it if it like had more gangster vibe. It, I think yes. That's what he was going which for. is the other aspect of this is that it's a political one yeah. versus gangster. But I think Vishal was making some cinematic choices based on um, the audience and contemporizing it in a way that he has every right to, and I totally understand why he did. I just, for me, whereas Hedder takes what Shakespeare intended in terms of the punch to your soul mm -hmm. and Hedder keeps it yeah. as did I felt McBool yeah I felt like of the three Othello was the one that if you're looking at it from a purely translatable power mm -hmm. this one was the most watered down in terms of Shakespeare's 
powerful essence of hitting you in the gut with this tragedy. I, I didn't get hit in the gut with the tragedy. Yeah. Huh. So, but but uh, what did you think about the songs though? I thought fun. the songs were actually some of the most fun of the trilogy. I, uh, I would agree. Yeah. Lots of fun. Although I will say, as beautiful as I don't know the actress's name who who's uh, the dancer in the songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I found her to be a very pretty girl. I, but I didn't find her dancing. I, I didn't think she was a, a, a extremely good dancer compared to other dancers that we've seen. Was she supposed uh, to be? I thought she was supposed to be a good dancer. I thought she was supposed to like supposed to be like a Helen or a Shredevi. Like she was supposed to be, or even like Priyanka and Ramlila. She was supposed to be this really good. Oh, I thought she was just supposed to be like almost a stripper. Well, she did do a little pole dancing. <laughs> that's that's what I I don't know about but the even, actress. Even I don't know about then, her. Even then, I found that her. And this is just me nitpicking. I, I found that her dancing, because I felt she was supposed to be kind of like stripper-esque, lacked some of the inhibition and the sensuality that uh, I just, I, I don't, if we looked at her, I bet she's, she's, she doesn't have a lot of dance in her history. Mm. She wasn't a terrible dancer. I'm not saying that. I just, for the character, I thought she was a very pretty girl who didn't exude the kind of sensual charisma that a Helen or a... Even for her cuteness, Sri Devi can come across with, or Priyanka, like she did in Ramlila. Um, I didn't get that vibe at all. But no, I, I, I enjoyed the, the, all the songs. I thought the, the one songs with uh, His music's always Saif great. Ali Khan dancing, the, the party one, uh, when they were all dancing before everything hit the fan, um, was, was really good. And then his background score, as always, because he's, he's a composer that yep. became a director. Yep. Um, and so his first love, I believe, is music. 100%. And, so and, and as much as this would be the weakest of the three, uh, uh, in no way, it's still, it's still, a, I've seen other adaptations, quote unquote, of Shakespeare that are trash. This is by no means, I, it's not like I disliked it. Mm -hmm. I just found the, the purest in me found it to be watered down comparatively, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So if you, if you told somebody to watch a trilogy, would you tell them to watch it in order or would you go, uh, Umkara, McBoy, I would do. Hedder? I would do or even you give them a header first. No, no, no. And well, it would depend. If they know Shakespeare, I would say watch Umkara McBool and Header, and I'd give them a disclaimer about Umkara. I'd say, don't look for a this is the least literal of the three. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a literal adaptation, mm -hmm. please allow Vishal to take a lot of liberties. But you would go Umkara before Macbeth. Yeah. I mean McBool. Even yes. though the order is even different. though the order is different, and I agree with you, the film quality is much lower on yeah. McBool. Yeah, it, it, it came out years ago. Yeah, years but prior. I I feel like because McBool has with it the uh, inherent power of Macbeth that Shakespeare intended, it, it packs the punch. It's like the unwatered down Cabernet. Yeah, I, this uh, the wines is the best way I could do it. Here you go. I would say if someone were drinking wine and they weren't introduced to wine yet I would say here we're gonna go we're going reds which is a big start so I'm gonna start you off with a just a table red this is a mixed red start with that awesome now I'm gonna give you a Pinot Noir now I'm gonna give you a Cabernet that's the mixed red is Umkara and then McBool is the Pinot Noir and then the Cabernet is Header mm. I wouldn't start the other way around because I feel like you get reversed in terms of the impact both of what Shakespeare intended being captured in the contemporization as as well as this the, the, the quality of the two. I even found performance wise, I was more attached to and cared more for the characters in McBool through Irfan and Taboo than I did say um, uh, there were a lot more, but I think the, the characters in this, because there was especially, a lot. especially Othello. I, I didn't care that he was but I was I, like, kill yourself, I don't care. I think there's a reason for that because Macbeth there's a lot of good characters in Macbeth in terms of not just like in good to like fun characters, just they're good people. Yeah, but see, not a lot of good people in this. And I think that's Vishal's, Vishal taking most, most of these people are bad. True. But here's what's interesting. I felt like Vishal took Othello and made him worse and took Iago and made him better than Shakespeare's version. In Shakespeare's version, Iago is an absolute evil prick. Is Iago from Aladdin named after Iago? Probably. But he is he is a selfish, evil, manipulating bastard that you hate. Mm. And Othello is somebody that you are hoping will have, will wake up and realize he's being deceived. Because you can see the writing on the wall and you can see he's being tricked. Mm. And it's awful because Othello and his wife love each other. Mm. And you don't want Iago 
who is basically like the devil incarnate in the in the thing, poisoning this pretty relationship. Mm. And I didn't I didn't get that at all. In fact, I felt like especially when Othello kind of snaps at her and uh, 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 hits her, I'm like, yeah, kill yourself, you pig. I, I really didn't care that he died at the end. I was kind of happy he was going to. It was like you deserve that. You're you're you you totally just took this guy's word and didn't even get any kind of verification from her and just assumed she was cheating. I think you were supposed to like that he died at the end in this version. In this version, right. Yeah, That's why I wish Shaw gets to do this the way he wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I I feel like you were supposed to be like, yeah, you should probably kill you. Right, which is where it's a twist on versus yeah. the, the, the punch of the tragedy in, in Shakespeare's oh, you see? That's where you see the differences. Somebody yep. who knows the story and then somebody who doesn't really know the story. Outside of that, it's Racism. It's, it's, still, <laughs> it's still cool that it's 2020 and people are talking about William Shakespeare. Yeah, and uh, Vishal, you're a genius. Yes, you uh, are. I can't wait till... Uh, if you do do another Shakespeare, that'd be very exciting. Oh, I would like to see thrilled. his take on uh, Romeo and Juliet. I would too. He, I'm about to say something amazing. Yeah, I, You know what I'm about to say. Well, I think... He has the ability to take Romeo and Juliet and make it even better than Shakespeare intended. Yeah, and it would be interesting because that's probably my least favorite Shakespeare, as we've talked about before. It is uh, for a lot of people. I don't. Well, no, a lot of people love that. No, so, some do, but a lot of people of all of Shakespeare's stuff. There'd be many who say it's just it's it's kind of simple compared to some of his other tragedies. Yeah, um, and adolescent, both in their expression of love, but even it's still. It's still Shakespeare. Yeah. Uh, Why hasn't Nawaz worked with Fischel Bardwash? Or has he? I'm just, I don't know. Because maybe he has. That seems like a, a pairing that would be made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> to me. I would love it. I don't know how he could do it. I thought about this watching this. I'd love to see Vishal do something extraordinarily militarily epic like Henry V. And he, well, we've it. seen a, a, a trailer of his where it was a military thing. I don't know if it was a hit or how it was. I can't remember. I mean, uh, he could he could do... The tension between England and France. Mm -hmm. He could do the tension between India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's so much he could do and take the St. Crispin's Day speech, especially if you had someone like a Nawaz. <sighs> well, Nawaz is getting a little bit too old now to, to play Henry V. Um, but he could still do it if he had enough time. I would love well, to an, see... A, if it's an Indian adaption, he can do it. Yeah, Harvard. I would love to see an Indian adaptation by the Shaw of Henry V. That would be incredible. Interesting. Oh. Well, let us know what film we should oh. watch and review next. Now that we're done with this trilogy. Finally. Uh, <laughs> took us a little while, but we enjoyed it thoroughly. What uh, next of... Um, Vishal, should we watch? And also, just in general, what should we watch and review next? Upvote what you want down below. That helps us. Yep. Thank we'll you. do it.